Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Stay to the end of this video so you don't miss a thing. Let me tell you something, folks. The Easter eggs they placed in this movie were, I, I don't want to say just shocking, but it really kind of blew me away. And I'm going to explain why. Because the whole purpose of Easter eggs are to really make your eyes wander when you're watching these Marvel films, especially. They love to put little things in front of you, like a word or a color or an object or a character that was in another film you'll see in the distance or something right there in front of you in plain view. You need to really use your peripherals. Remember that from 40 year old virgin? You need to use your peripherals, hey Andy. All right. And you'll see these Easter eggs, man. And in Guardians of the Galaxy 3, I'm telling you, they're all over the place. You just need to <clears throat> keep your eyes open, okay, for these secret characters, these secret endings, you know, just all of these things. You need to really pay attention, and you'll spot them, I'm telling you. <clears throat> Excuse me, allergies. But with that being said, folks, did you notice all of the Easter eggs and the secret characters in Guardians 3? I need you to put in the comment section down below, through the film and including in the ending, okay? Which Easter eggs and secret characters did you notice, all right? You got to let me know down below in the comment section. There's not too many comments. You got to hit that like and subscribe with all notifications on so you don't miss a thing. All right. If you made it to this part, comment movie 225.